here's intergranular corrosion here, and this is what it looks like. Intergranular corrosion is a selective attack along the grain boundaries of the metal. So intergranular grain should be part of that word. And the way we can tell it is it looks like little grains of sand. So if you get a magnifying glass and you look down in it, intergranular corrosion will look like grains of sand. This grain loses its alloying agents and becomes anodic to the surrounding grains of metal. Here's exfoliation. Exfoliation is a form of intergranular corrosion. And you can see in here, this is exfoliation is when intergranular gets really, really bad. Uh, there's no saving exfoliation. This stuff is dead on arrival. If you see a part with exfoliation, it's toast. Here's more examples of exfoliation. If you think of exfoliation like skin, I watch these commercials on TV late at night where they're showing this, this overpriced loofah. Uh, and, and, and this thing, you're supposed to rub it on your skin and get the dead cells off. Well, that's what this is like with metal. It's like the skin coming off in layers. That's what exfoliation is. And it should be real easy to remember uh, if you watch late night TV and you've seen this kind of thing. It's a visible form of intergranular corrosion. The expanding corrosion products just below the metal surface cause a blister. It's usually found on extrusions. That's things like aluminum angle. Those are, those are extrusions. And the blisters appear where the extruding dyes have forced the crystal structure of the metal to change direction. Stress corrosion. Stress corrosion happens someplace where there's a lot of load on a part where there's a lot of stress. So something like a, a fitting or a, a wing skin that is a stress skin is carrying a lot of load, is flexing. Uh, you'll get corrosion in these areas and part of the working back and forth of the metal causes the stress corrosion.